policy users define like what uh, what is access so who can access uh, what developer uh, which developer ha have some limited access so in this uh, in this options you can define <coughs> okay mm, so here is a screenshot also there is one another options like uh, amazon cognito authentication so this feature storing uh, one type of uh, you can say third party or some authentication services uh, like if i have big infrastructure and i have uh, many number of developers who wants this open source access then you just create some uh, some cognito users and define their and define that permissions and some limited access so they can access open search as for the log purpose uh, for the access policy there uh, three options only use fine grain access control do not set domain level access policy or configure domain level access policy as of now we we go through uh, we go uh, through this uh, uh, do not uh, set domain level access policy okay so now click on create and click domain okay so okay so now it's created in my window you need you need to wait uh, approx uh, uh, 15 to 20 minutes it's take a time okay so in the security configurations set LO instead of deny you can you can see in the open search gy console below of the last options of security options <coughs> and you just replace this uh, uh, options to allow okay here is some uh, general information uh, this is open search dashboard URL and this is domain endpoint this domain endpoint you can add into uh, docker container or cluster so that can get the logs and put into open search uh, from this open search dashboard URL you can access this dashboard into GUI and see like what what is a graph what is uh, what log can uh, what log can uh, see and uh, how many number of namespaces how many number of ports they're running and so yeah okay uh, this is the login page you just add your master username and password and log in, log into open search dashboards this look like this uh, my screenshot okay now create one instance for access kubernetes cluster so you have uh, any cluster you have uh, you created uh, any cluster or uh, using uh, any method like uh, eks gui cops or uh, cubadium any other way you just create one instance uh, who can access that cluster so we can configure uh, our open search endpoints and some configurations by that instance okay so here I have some instances some configurations for the EKS cluster okay so now connect that instance in terminal and install docker kubectl and AWS CLI then configure AWS credential using commands And so I am giving some information like how to install docker, how to install kubectl and how to install AWS CLI. You can pause the video and uh, add these commands. Also you can get these commands and uh, all of the details from the description link. Okay. So here I have uh, logged into my instance. 